مرحبا My name is Shreen Mutter Manoli I'm from Bethlehem, Palestine Yes, Bethlehem Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus Jesus of Nazareth What you guys see behind me is the Nativity Church where Jesus was born in the Nativity Church the famous Nativity Church of Bethlehem Bethlehem located on the center of the West Bank, uh, approximately 10 kilometers away from Jerusalem, uh, with a population of 30,000 people. I started my career as a journalist in around the year 2000. I started as a, a DJ. I used to mix music on air, live on Radio Bethlehem 2000. After that, I started my career with a Bethlehem TV station as a camera woman. But I was volunteering all that time. I never had a, a real job. In, um, in 2003, I started my career with a freelance with a producer called Hanna Misla. He's a famous producer in Palestine. In 2005, I graduated from Bethlehem Bible College with a degree of media. After that, I worked for them for almost a year working as a media person, working as a journalist, as a camerawoman, as a producer, as a TV host, uh, whatever you guys want me, I can work on. This is how it is in Palestine. People can do a lot of jobs in one time and not getting paid <laughs> most of the time. Yeah, and after that, I went to the United States. I had uh, um, my degree in radio, television, and film, uh, specifically on uh, documentary filmmaking. Unfortunately, while I was living in the United States for three years, I noticed that people don't view us the way we are. People, they have a stereotype about Palestinian. They have a lot of stereotype about us as, uh, as women living in Palestine. They have an old mentality about the Arab region. So I thought about filmmaking that with film, you can show the world who you are and what you are and uh, a normal life. What you guys can see on TV is not always the right story or the real story. There is more than one truth. The key issue remaining from the Arab-Israeli conflict is mutual recognitions borders, security, water rights, controlling of Jerusalem, land rights. The violence resulting from the conflict has promoted international actions as well as other security and human rights concerns, both within and between both sides and internationally. 